everybody to another great episode of Real Life Matters. I am your host, D-Boss, and I'm just letting everybody know that I'm on five days a week, Monday to Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Caravision, which is in 28 different countries, including London, UK, and in Canada, Bell 5, Channel 658, and through the United States of America, through various um, cable networks, you could see Caravision, and you could see all the wonderful programming that they have. But in case you missed all that, then you can go to my YouTube channel, which is um, DBoss Networks, and uh, you'll see subscribe, share, and you'll see all the wonderful guests that I did, and you can watch it at your own time and convenience. But anyways, I hope everybody's doing their 15 minutes of laughing per day because that's going to help you release those endomorphins. It helps your blood pressure. It helps you feel young, younger. It makes you, whatever you put out, you get back. So, you know, that's the thing that, you know, with the laughing, you know, if you don't have anyone to laugh with, you could just put on uh, something for at least uh, 15 minutes. You can call somebody for 15 minutes to 30 minutes. You can call, uh, you can watch something funny. But, uh, you know, in case in extreme cases that you say, oh, I don't have anybody at all I can laugh with, then um, you can go to sign up for some laughing classes. So I hope that's not the case with you guys at home. But if it is, well, that's available so that you can get that in. It warms up your vocal cords. It does a lot of things. There's a lot of health benefits to laughing. So, you know, that's what I've been telling people in the past few months. So get out there, laugh, smile. So you can look beautiful and you don't look as stern, you know, and stuff like that. But we're going to hear from one of our uh, one of our sponsors, um, Vital Steps for Vital Health from Joanne James. And I'll be right back with our special guest. Welcome to your Vital Steps to Better Health. I'm Joanne James. Today we're going to talk about exercising in the sun. We all love the sun. It's been the winter. Now we want to get out into the fresh air and enjoy the great weather. However, we have to be very mindful when we're exercising in the sun. First of all, you want to protect your skin at all costs. Regardless of your background, you still need to wear a sunblock of 30 plus. Also, you want to make sure you're wearing a hat to protect your facial skin, as well as glasses to protect your eyes. Also make sure that you hydrate as you're doing your activities. Sometimes you won't feel that you're thirsty, but in actual fact you are. So make sure you drink. Don't wait to become dehydrated first. And listen to your body. If you start feeling a little nauseous or dizzy or fatigued, that might be signs of a heat stroke. Get into the shade, sit down and call somebody to assist you. Being out in the sun and exercising is great, but you have to be um, very, very, very aware of where you are, what you're doing, and make safety your top priority. I'm Joanne James, and this has been your Vital Steps to Better Health and Fitness. See you next time. Thank you for that, Joanne James, for that uh, tip, you know, in the sun for people that, well, of course, here with we here up north, we get we're getting into the cooler time. But, you know, when you are in the sun, you know, you can make sure you put on your sunscreen, make you make sure you do all that. But people that are in warmer climates all year round, please follow the advice. Keep yourself hydrated. Keep yourself with a hat, something not black, especially if you're in the Caribbean, because um, <laughs> black is OK at night. <laughs> but in the day, it's not a good thing. <laughs> so, so you know, I had an experience of that <laughs> once or twice. And I said, no, black is for, in the Caribbean, it's different, but in up, up here in uh, up north and stuff like that, where, you know, you can wear black all the time, but here in Caribbean, no, you wear that at night. But anyway, <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get to that. But I'm so excited to have a special guest on here today, and he's going to tell us all about his journey, things that he's gone through, what he's, you know, what hasn't happened, what did happen to him. So we're, with no further ado, I introduce to you. Ja niceness. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> it's my pleasure finally, to be on your program. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness. Yo, <laughs> nothing don't beat time, and when the time is right, everything will always be okay. It's a pleasure to be on your program. Thanks for having me. No, that's no problem. Okay, everybody here at, at Real Life Matters, we like to know where people's background is and where they come from. 
Okay, well, um, I was born in the in the parish of Clarendon, Jamaica. Um, okay. I'm the third of seven child from my mom. Um, I grew up loving music, and um, I've been doing music ever since. Okay. All right. So, John Niceness. So, how did you come up with that name? Okay, I come up with that name from one of my friends. We call him Truthful. Right, and um, I got that name because of my humble personality and I guess the clarity of my voice. Ah, okay. All right. So when did you know that you wanted to be an entertainer? Like, when did you know? Or was it somebody, I, I or somebody I, in your family or that was in it? No, or? I think I, dis I discovered that from a, a very tender, tender age, maybe like seven or so. Because, um, as I say, I, I grew up in the country. So we used to have this radio. And I used to know, like, every song that plays on the radio. You know, once it, it plays um, more than, like, three times, I always learned them so I could sing them back to back. So when, like, my parents heard me singing them, I, I, I sound so good. You know, and, and I could, like, hear it in my head. Like, man, I, I used to imagine myself as the... The, the singer, like I'll be on stage singing it. So I, I, I realized that from a, a tender age. Oh, okay. So did you go to um, singing lessons or you just, or just came natural? No, nah, I didn't go to singing lesson, but um, further on in my career, when I left, leave country and, 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 and went to live in Kingston, I came across a producer whose name is Norman Douglas. We call him Myla. And he's actually a music teacher. So I wasn't actually in the classroom, but I got I got all that you know, musical information that, that 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 I need to get. You understand me? So I, I was actually in a classroom, but not in a classroom, so to speak. Okay. Because you know, because there's certain some people I know that sing and stuff like that, they say that sometimes they do certain exercises to strengthen their voice and stuff like that? Or do you do that or no? Well, if everybody have to work on their craft because it comes naturally, you know, because if it don't come naturally, then you won't discover that you have it. But once you discover that you have it, then you have to maintain it. Just like a, a runner, you may be the fastest person, but you got to train. You understand me? Mm -hmm. and for like, for you to get up every day and, 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 and like, for example, if you're going to do a show, you need to rehearse. And the rear cell is to strengthen your vocals so that if you do 10 songs, you're okay. Because if you don't train, you will do the 10 song, but the next day you may not be able to speak. You're gonna be so hoarse. You understand me? So yeah, you gotta you gotta yeah. exercise to, to you know. Yeah. Okay, so can you tell us who you've worked with over the past few years? Well, I work with a lot. I don't even know if I can. Um, remember everyone at at the at the, at the moment, okay. but I, I've worked with a lot. <laughs> yeah, I've worked with a lot of producer, but um, my journey started um with this this um gentleman that I was telling you about Milo, because that was my first producer, and then he migrated oh. to the United States, and then I I was all over the place going to jammies, going to all almost every studio in Kingston at the time. You know, and then I, 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 um, there was a gentleman by the name of I and I, and he had a recording studio named I and I Recording Sound. So I went here. He actually, you know, I was his artist. You understand me? So I was there for a while, and then he died. So when he died, now I'm like, okay, I'm back on the road again. So after I and I, I, I um, I went back on the road, and um. I was at Human Promotion Recording Studio that's um, owned by the legendary Sugar Minot. I don't know if you know him very well, but he's one of Jamaican yes. legendary singers, right? I learned a lot from him too. And um, I also sang for Golden House Production owned by um, Soji. Uh, what's his real name again? Eckford. I can't remember his real name. Oh, that's so sad. But... Um, <laughs> And then I, I I also sang for HOC Record, which I did three songs for them. And those songs were really what really get me really started. 
because I did three songs also for Golden Horse production. And okay. yeah, they create a vibe too. But when I did um those three songs for HOC Records, that was, you know, I started playing on the Iria FM, which is one of the most popular radio stations in Jamaica, you know. And you know, when when Iria FM plays you, that means yeah, you know, you're yeah. happening. Ah, so you're in. I was, you're in there. Right. So I was happening. You understand me? Because I did three nice songs. One, um, I didn't mean it. Tell me why and upliftment time. Especially okay. upliftment time was getting a lot of rotations. Oh, okay. All right. So if you had the opportunity to do a collaboration with um, <laughs> any artist, just uh, who would you like to do it with? And you got three choices. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Definitely one of the Marlies, right? Okay. Um, three side choices, like across the board or just in reggae? Across or, the or board. Once you would like to do something with because you never know. <laughs> okay. Um, I would definitely want to do something with Maxi Priest because he's one of my artists that I look up to. I mean, I, I, I just love this man's voice and the way he sings, the way he pronounces his words and stuff like that. And who else? Because I never really thought about... Um... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but, that, but, but now the big thing is collaboration, right? Right, because, you know, collaboration, the way I grew up knowing collaboration, it wasn't something like you, like, really think about like i want to do this it was always a vibe like you and this artist meet up at the studio or wherever you meet up and you'll be vibing and and you know you may hear a beat and you're vibing and you come up with a song so that become a collaboration but now it's like a more of a marketing strategy where you want to do with somebody you understand me but yeah um i think i'd love to do something with kabaka pyramid because you oh, know he's okay. the grammy winner right now you know <laughs> it's true. Okay, you didn't mention a lady, so get get you got one there. <laughs> uh -huh. Um, which which lady I would love to do something with now? Um, what's her name? She's from Barbados. She just have a a, a baby the other day. What's her name again? Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Well, that's where my family. Family's from Barbados, so. <laughs> oh, wow. sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, well, that's a good. That's that's a good one. All right, so, okay, so those are your collab. So, are you willing? Are, okay, so you do reggae. Do you just do strictly reggae, or do you do? Are do? Are you willing to, like, do something else, or? No, I I do a lot of I do other kinds of music like, um, R and B stuff. It's it's just the opportunity that 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 come up because like I, I I'm okay. in the state so when I go to the studio and see like a rap one you'd be like yo Janice says I love your vibe let's do something and and you know and I did you hmm. know there's an artist by the name of Critical we do a couple of collaborations together and um okay nice real real nice you could find them on yeah. YouTube and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I find that a lot of the um, reggae artists are collaboration with a lot of the soca artists. So, you know, even if it's one song or something. So a lot of them, like uh, Taurus Riley, uh, Shaggy, a whole bunch of them now, they're like, they're collaborating with the soca. They're not meaning you've got to change your voice to sound like that, but um, you could just do, <laughs> say your thing in the well, back. Well, you know, you know what? <laughs> for me to do a soca song, that would really be an achievement for me because that's the only kind of music I've never like master. I've never yeah, ever. <laughs> I, I don't know why I, I never ever learned to do soca because I, I I also okay. do um um what you call it when you sing in the hotels and stuff like that, right? Cabaret, and that was my weakest point because when you're doing <laughs> cabaret, you have to seeing you know a different genres of music and that was you know I, that was I the never, one what i never about, could what manage about, <laughs> so what about Pardon reggaeton what, what about reggaeton spanish afro beats 
I never I never did one, but I can do that because it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know? It, it's the same mm -hmm. thing. Maybe a fast as beat or something, but it's a, yeah. it's, a, it's the same kind of format, you know? Okay. All right. So we got some songs here for you. And um, one's called... Uh, let me see here. Hold on. It's the MP3. Yeah. Um, what's it called? Ja, ra, ras or rain by all, ran by all or something. Ran by all. That's a song you have. You sure it's by a Pain, pain, pain. Oh, pain. pain. <laughs> okay. Rain by all. No, no, because they had it inside. <laughs> <laughs> Name the things properly, so you know. Pain. Okay, so tell us about that about that soundtrack. Okay, pain is a is a more of a a lover's rock kind of music. It's kind of upbeat, but it's about a relationship that's 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 like gone bad. So it's like it's like a relationship that gone breaks bad. up. Right, like your relationship yeah. break up and you'll be like, you know, I was a good person and you gotta miss me and, and you know you're gonna feel pain every time <laughs> so you hear my name, right? <laughs> So is yeah. <laughs> For you. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. We're gonna hear this one. It's a personal touch from uh Jai Niceness. Pain. Let's go. <laughs> yes, and, and it was also produced by MMB MMB Records. It's on the MMB Records label. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna we're gonna do this um full ups. Is it one thousand pull, uh, pull ups? Yes, one thousand pull ups. Um tell us about one thousand pull ups produced by um SOS music and they're from Tobago. Um it's 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 kind of crazy for somebody from Tobago producing a reggae beat, but you know they they, they did a good job and <laughs> big up the SOS music family, Yemen yeah, for come up with such a, a wonderful beat. And this song is about like original dance hall, what it used to be, the vibe that I grew up to see in dance hall, which is a lot different from what it is now. But this song is explaining the original dance hall vibe. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to, here he is. Here we go. 1,000 pull ups by SOS Music and Jai Nice. <laughs>
Very, very lively. Okay, and we got this one here now. Get some love. Here we go. The other one was pain. Now get some. <laughs> uh, well, get some love is 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 from my my album. It's my album is called No This No Man. Um, release last year. Yeah, I think September last year. So get some love is is all about. Coming together as one people, get some love because without love we are nothing. You understand me? Without love, love is hate and war, and you know, and, and we don't need stuff like that. So this song is just an uplifting song, you know, roots kind of reggae beat for the people, you know. Okay. All right. So here we go. Get some love. I don't know if this is a personal thing to John Isis, but anyway. <laughs> It is. It's, it's, it's yeah. a personal for everyone in the world. You need to get some love. Because without love, we are okay. nothing, you know? Get some love. <laughs> All right. Here we go. now 
I'm right now. I'm in the middle of promoting that album that you play this song from. It's called okay. "The Disna Man," and I'm also promoting a couple of singles that just came out with me, like um that one that you just played, "One Thousand Pull Up," and also a song by the name of um "Sun Comes Up," produced by TSM Records. So I'm just I'm I'm also recording now, but I'm I'm more focusing on promoting. Mm -hmm. what i have now because i did a lot of work last year so i'm like yo to just keep putting out putting out putting out i need to be promoting <laughs> and, and, you know and, and, and getting so the works out so music. right so that's what that's that's what the focus is on for this year um and looking forward to a lot of bookings next year hoping to come to canada to rock the people over there too yes <laughs> yes you know where everybody everybody's up here this is the place to be all right. So, are there any shout outs that you want to give to people? Most definitely, I want to shout out to all the people who have um, made my career what it is all the DJs, all the producers, all the fans, you know, each and every one who, who support me over the years. And um, I want to send a shout out to um, Stone Fire Management, Big Up Yourself over there in California. I um, also want to send Shout out to my special lady, Sapphire, big up yourself. And um, big up to Raga Z, A1 Ras, DJ Spiceman, Chick Million, uh, Commander Joe Tory, and all of the massive them, you know, who participate. And also to Sister Antoinette Smith, I think is her name, and Chess Ford, and also to you, the boss, big up yourself. And to each right. and every one on the program. All right. Thank you. And um, if people want to follow you or book you, where can they find you on your social medias? On social media, you could find me on Janiceness or Niceness mm -hmm. Fire on um, Facebook. And Instagram, it's at Janiceness. Um, TikTok also is Janiceness. Um, my email is bellbusiness102 at gmail.com or you can link up stone fire management you know okay all right and they will do well i want to thank you so much and you when you come again come again when you know you got something else new coming out you know we just most we, we don't most definitely <laughs> <I will. laughs> you, can't just, you can't just come on one time and don't come bring bring your music <laughs> Most so. definitely, I will, and I'm I'm so elated to be a part of this program because I've been waiting for like uh it's been a while now, and um <laughs> it's been yeah because yeah, um even yesterday my phone was messed up and I'm like what <laughs> I, you understand but you know thank God everything is up uh, and at least I'm anyways thank God it, it it's working and did everything it had to do everything yes, don't happen before it's right time. time. Well, it was time yeah. today. <laughs> definitely, All definitely. Right. All right, so I do want to thank everybody tonight for tuning in to Real Life Matters. So good night and bye for now. <laughs>